Hi, I'm Christian, and in this PC Answers tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use GMX Mail Collector. Now, this is a fantastic way to keep all your mail in one place from various accounts, uh, even ones that you don't use anymore that are actually quite old email addresses. Now, GMX, which you can actually go to gmx.com, it'll actually revert to this uh, actual URL, mail slash eu.gmx.com, but if you just type gmx.com, um, it'll take you to there in the UK. And GMX is actually the most popular mail client in Germany, apparently. Um, so this is probably due to uh, it being a subsidiary of one on one, the large web host. And to use the mail collector facility, of course, you have to actually sign up for a new account. So, yes, this does mean getting another email address, um, but it really is a simple process. Just click sign up now uh, and you should be up and running pretty easily. So, I'm just going to log in. And GMX uh, by default actually opens in a new window. You can actually change that in settings if you wish. Uh, and this will just open up my inbox now. There we go. It looks very similar to most uh, other email uh, web clients, uh, such as Hotmail or Yahoo. It's quite similar to that. Uh, with the pane down the left hand side here for your inbox, your draft messages, your sent messages, and trash. Uh, and as you'll see here, uh, Mail Collector, this is, will actually uh, prompt you to start that facility. So let's just click start and all it is is a simple wizard which will locate some old email addresses for us and start to pull all that information together so you can store it in one handy place and it really is the simplest way of, of checking so many email accounts. So let's just run through that wizard. We're actually going to try it with a Hotmail account first. So let's, uh, it'll give you a huge list of uh, addresses that are used popularly. There we are, hotmail.com. So let's choose that one and select continue. And now, now I'll prompt you for the email address. So let's just. And now it's checking the access to that. Now you might be thinking that if you're pulling up all these email addresses from from two, three, ten different accounts, you're really going to start to, to use up your allocation. But GMX actually gives you five gig of storage, so um, that's quite a lot for mail. So you really shouldn't worry if you're using Mail Collector. Um, you, you really should be able to, to deal with all your email in, in that sort of storage capability. Okay. So it's just telling me that the access check has been completed, so we can now click uh, Finish. And the account has been created. Now this will put uh, that Hotmail address, it will put that into my email list down on the side here. So I'll, I'll be able to deal with that Hotmail account separate from my GMX mail. Uh, and you can repeat that process as many times for as many different email accounts as you have. And you can have them all in one handy list down the side here and just, uh, and just change between them at uh, a simple click. So let's just click Finish. And I'll now be shown a simple summary of my account. So here we are, this is Mail Collector, that's the one I've, I've put in already. It's active, as you'll see. Uh, and you'll be able to change collector rules for anything you're, you've actually got, uh, any accounts here. So you can have different rules for different accounts, which is actually quite handy. And just to show you the filter rules, you can just click, click on that. And select New Filter Rule. Give it a filter name. Just call it uh, spam, uh, and apply this to all new mails. Confirm that condition. You can actually add more conditions if you wish. Uh, if all conditions apply, or, or one of those applies, this will give you a, a list of what to do with it. Just move to a particular folder. So move that to a spam folder, for instance. Uh, select that. Uh, and there's also more tasks uh, to, to actually satisfy the, the, those criteria. OK. 
Okay, okay. So let's just pop back into uh, Mail Collector, and as you'll see that's the, the one account we've got so far. So let's click Save and click OK. And there we are. It's now been added to our email drop-down list there. And if we click that, uh, it actually load our messages. Now we've just added this account, so it can take a while to import uh, all your uh, messages. We don't actually have too much in this account, so it's, it was actually relatively quick. There, if you're importing something like Gmail and you've got a couple of uh, 100 megabytes or a couple of gigs even of email. Uh, it may take a bit of time to actually get through, but uh, it's it's not too bad actually. And just like any other mail clients, uh, such as Hotmail for instance, actually displayed in a very similar way. And if you click uh, an email here, it'll actually display the preview in exactly the same way as it would in Hotmail. It's all rendered in exactly the same fashion uh, and is completely readable. So in many ways, the mail collector facility in GMX is a bit like having something like Bloglines, an RSS reader, um, which pulls in all your uh, news feeds that you subscribe to on the web in one handy place. Uh, and, and, and indeed, Bloglines does exactly the same thing, where you can actually uh, use a left-hand pane here to, to move between uh, feeds. This is exactly the same thing for email. Um, it's really easy to use. And if you do have multiple accounts, um, it really is the simplest way of managing them.